Hello colleagues, my name is Possible and I'll be your teacher for today. Now for some time now, we have been looking at principles of microeconomics. And now we are going to look at principles of macroeconomics. Now under microeconomics, MI, microeconomics, we said that it deals with the individual market, the individual consumers or the individual customers or the individual firms or the individual suppliers. So in deep of incarnation, we could see that under microeconomics, we were looking at the individual market and the individual consumers or the individual suppliers. But macroeconomics focuses on the aggregates, looks at the economy as a whole. So saying it in other way, we could see that macroeconomics, MA macroeconomics, focuses on the forest itself. But microeconomics looks at the individual trees in the forest. I hope it makes sense. Now, under macroeconomics, MA macroeconomics, we are going to look at the study of the structure of the economy, or the study of the structure and the performance of the economy as a whole. I hope it makes sense. So the macroeconomics itself looks at the aggregate of the economy. It looks at Keneshi market, it looks at Makola market, it looks at Kegetia, it looks at all the economy, all of them together. But under microeconomics, we're looking at only one market. I hope it makes sense. Now we are saying that macroeconomics versus macroeconomics. Microeconomics versus macroeconomics. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So basically the macroeconomics is the study of the economy as a whole. Like what I've told you. I hope it makes sense. And it is the field of economics or a branch of economics which studies the structure and the overall performance of the economy. I hope it makes sense. Having understood this, let us look at the structure or what macroeconomics itself deals with. We are saying that we have some issues that macroeconomics deals with. So the second one is the issues that macroeconomics deals with. So whenever you are reading economics and then you hear something like GDP, the first thing that has to come into your mind is that you have shifted into the territory of macroeconomics. When you hear something like international trade, when you hear something like international market when you have something like consumer price index producer price index unemployment inflation then you have to know that you have shifted into the territory of macroeconomics so in all we are saying that macroeconomics deals with issues which are international or which are of national focus looks at the aggregate the overall the totality of the economy that is how, that is what i want you to understand these are some of the key words that you have to know i hope it makes sense the micro is individual the macro is the totality is the aggregate is the overall looking at the economy as a whole and then it deals with issues like international business international um, transactions such as import exports gdp which is gross domestic products uh, unemployment inflation exchange rates i hope it makes sense nice one now having understood this one let us look at the objectives of macroeconomics objectives of macroeconomics so we look at macroeconomic issues macroeconomic issues uh, macroeconomic issues and then we are going to look at three macroeconomic economic objectives macroeconomic objectives now if you talk about objectives of macroeconomics you see what makes it so interesting for us to study economics or why are we studying economics macroeconomics to be precise we are saying that there were some limitations in the principles of microeconomics of which the microeconomics couldn't what tackle and that is why we are going to study the macroeconomics so that we can look at all of them i hope it makes sense so the first objective of macroeconomics is to make sure that there is a non-inflationary growth yes indeed we want the economy to grow everyone wants the economy to grow 
but this growth that we want in the economy should be non-inflationary. I hope you are getting it. The argument is that, yes, we want the economy to grow, but this growth in the economy must be non-inflationary growth. It means that the growth should not be influenced by inflation. When you go to Zimbabwe, about one billion Zimbabwean dollar, that one can buy only a loaf of bread. There is a growth there, but that growth is being backed by inflation. I hope it makes sense. So we are saying that we want growth in the economy, but that growth should be non-inflationary growth. Be very careful because most of the times they normally drop this one in the OBJ questions. The second one is that we want to achieve low inflation in the economy. Now, macroeconomics does not see to a complete eradication or elimination of inflation in the economy. Listen to my words and mark them correctly. Macroeconomics does not concern itself with a complete eradication or elimination of inflation from the economy. Rather, it says to itself that inflation in the economy is lowered. So macroeconomics lowers inflation. The inflation rates in the economy, it lowers it. Or it seems to it that the inflation rate in the economy is lowered or is stable. I hope it makes sense. And then we have another objective of macroeconomics. That is fair distribution of income. Please mark the words. Fair distribution of income. I didn't say equal distribution of income. Because income in the economy, though it could be equally distributed, but might not necessarily be fair. So we are saying that not necessarily equal distribution of income, but there must be a fair distribution of income. Fair is underlined. There should be a fair distribution of income. I hope it makes sense. And then low unemployment. Macroeconomics makes sure to see that there is um, low employment in the, in the economy. That means unemployment rate is lowered. Macroeconomics does not see to itself that uh, unemployment is completely eradicated. No. Rather, it makes sure to see that the rate of unemployment in the economy is lowered. When you go to the United States of America or those advanced economies, the fastest growing economy, which is China, with a, um, a per capita income of 6.2, and then US uh, with the per capita income of 2.1, all of them, they have unemployment over there. That structural and fractional unemployment over there. So we are saying that macroeconomics does not see to itself that um, uh, unemployment is not existing. Rather, it makes sure that unemployment rate is being lowered in the economy. Again, macroeconomics make sure to see that um, there is a equilibrium in the um, balance of payment. The money that we are sending outside and the money that the country, the domestic country is getting into the country, there should be um, equilibrium in that. That means there should be a balance over there. I hope it makes sense. Yes, the money that is coming into the country and the money that is leaving the country should, um, if, like, should be um, balanced. They should equate each other. There should be an equilibrium. I hope it makes sense. So these are some of the things that macroeconomists seem to address. So we call them the objectives of macroeconomics. The objectives of macroeconomics. So in summary, we are trying to say that macroeconomics focus on the study uh, of the structure and the performance of the overall economy. It focuses on the total uh, economic performance, the aggregate activities that takes place within a particular economy for a period of time. I hope it makes sense. And then uh, from there we look at the issues of macroeconomics. Yes, the issues of macro, yes, we are studying macroeconomics. But what are some of the hints that, that we have to put in at the back of our, our mind? That whenever we hear them, our attention has to be driven or has to be sent to macroeconomics. We say macroeconomics looks at international issues or national issues or aggregate things like in aggregate or issues in their totality. 
I hope it makes sense. And then straight away from there, we look at the objectives of macroeconomics, of which low inflation, but not um, like complete eradication of what inflation. And then we look at low unemployment, and then we look at equilibrium um, in the balance of payment, and then we look at fair distribution of income, and then the rest. I hope it makes sense. Watch out for our next video. We are going to look at the macroeconomic policies policies of macroeconomics. So these are the objectives, but how are we going to target these objectives? We are on, like, we have to understand the policies so that we can use the policies or we can apply the policies in the achievement of these objectives. I hope it makes sense. God bless you. Bye-bye.